So you're not sure if you should be laying out all the UI for your app first, or if you should just dive right in and start coding. Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be talking about whether you should be doing your UI, you know, doing your mockups first or if it's really okay to just dive in and start coding. So I'm going to tell you right now. This is going to be one of those it depends answers unfortunately. It's not clear cut and dry. I can't just say do this, do that, but I can break down your situation and kind of give you an idea of where you might want to start depending on what you're going through right now. So let's start off with actually designing the entire app first before you actually write a single line of code. Now this is going to be a great choice no matter who goes with it because what's going to happen is when you go through the process of actually designing your app, it's going to allow you to start thinking about some of the concepts, some of the features and all the things that kind of need to get into that app so that when you're building it, you kind of have a roadmap. And this is really great because a lot of people tend to you know, not think through the entire problem. That's like, it's, that's a, actually a huge problem is that people just don't think through the entire process. And if you don't think it through, then what's going to happen is you're just going to be running into all these different changes as you're going. And then you're going to have to be scrambling for time, especially if you're on a deadline and all these things are going to come up that you didn't really see coming because it wasn't designed. Also, one of the best things about designing your app is that you get to see how beautiful it's going to look in the end. You get to like make it look all pretty and you can do all the cool things. You could even throw in animations and stuff like that. And you'd be like, yeah, this is going to be freaking awesome. This is exactly what I want. I already have an end product. I know where this app is going. I know what the flow is going to be like. And that's probably going to get you pretty fired up when you're able to see what the end product is going to be gives you something to be working towards, which is like going to give you that motivation, right? You're going to be like, oh man, this thing's going to be so awesome. And the fact that I get to create it, oh man, I can't wait to just build that thing, you know? So I think it is huge motivation for anybody that does design their apps because then it's like, you know, you want to complete this thing. You get to see how awesome it actually is. You get to, you know, make it look beautiful. You're, you're like, oh man, if I like this, the world's going to really like it because, you know, you're probably a little bit more critical on yourself than than other people are critical on you. But, you know, if you can make something that looks pretty and you like it, then a lot of people are probably going to like it. And I think that the biggest benefit to doing design first is if you're going to be working with anybody else, no matter what regards it's going to be, if you're going to be working with anybody else, whether they're on a certain part of the team or if they're one of the developers for part of the app or whatever it is. Having a design is going to be so beneficial to just being able to communicate between each other because now you guys can kind of see and be on that same page of what everything's kind of coming together to be. Right. So it like it, it really helps when you both can look at something and or all of you can look at something and you can kind of see, OK, this is what we're all working towards. This is what the end product is. This is what I need to do. This is what you need to do. This is why we got to do it. It's it's you're able to just communicate. Everybody can be on the same page because the design, you know, is there. It's right there in front of you. Everybody knows what it's going to look like in the end. And you guys all kind of work towards that. So if you're working on a team or you're working with it, with any other person, it's going to be huge because the communication that can be established through the design itself is just going to be way further ahead of anything that you could communicate verbally because there's always this lost in translation, no matter who you're talking with, unless it's like, you know, somebody that you complete sentences for or whatever. But Usually it's not that person. So let's talk about coding first. Now, this is something that I actually practice a lot and um, it's probably not the best thing to do, but it's going to work out for a lot of you anyways. So the main reason why I like to code first is because when I have an idea, I like to get out the MVP. I like to get the, the functionality and make sure that I can actually build the thing that I'm supposed to be building. And that is why I really like to code is like I want to go in and build that tool because most of the things that I build, um, you know, like apps wise, it's it's a tool for me. So when I 
create an app. It's usually so that I can use it and I just want the finished product. I don't really care what it looks like because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be the only one using it for a certain amount of time. And then after I test it out for a while, then I'll eventually put it out. Now, like I said, this is really bad practice and I really wouldn't recommend this unless you're like me where you just need to build a tool and then put it out. Um, I always recommend that you design something first, uh, but if you are like me and you just wanna build that tool and you wanna get it out there and you wanna be able to work with it, then this is gonna be the better option for you and it's just gonna allow you to you know, start building something and then you know, really dig into the core functionality of it. But the downside is, is that you know, if you start building this thing out, out with its ugly UI and it looks like Craigslist or something, what's going to happen is you're not going to know exactly the entire flow of the app and you might run into uh, a, a spot where it kind of intersects, like where things just don't mesh together and you're like, oh, I have to have this feature kind of interact with this feature and I didn't think that through. So now you kind of have to like go back and rewrite some of your code or change up some of the, the ugly design. And now it's like, you know, uh, Craigslist ugly cousin or something like that. But for the most part, if you are like me, like I said, once again, if you are like me, this isn't going to be a huge problem because you can just throw an ugly button right there on it and then add that functionality in there and make it all dirty and just get it all working. And that's perfectly fine. You can definitely start off doing all the coding first and then go back and do the design and then come back and then, you know, redo the app essentially. And to be honest, having something that actually works is more motivating to me than seeing something that's beautiful and, and kind of seeing like, oh, look at what it can be. Now, I still get motivated by beautiful things, but usually when I'm the one that's creating the app, I can't really make anything that's too beautiful. I could do all right, but I can't make something that's so super beautiful and just be like, oh man, I'm fired up about it. But if you're one of those people that are like, you know, very artistic and you can make something beautiful, having that finished product is going to be motivating to you whereas it's it's not going to be that motivating to me just because I can't make it so pretty that it's just motivational to me. So regardless of which way you go, as long as you're building something, it's all good. That's that's what we're here for. We're developers, we're supposed to be making stuff. That's what's most important. Just make sure that you're building something because that's what we're here for. Come on guys, we gotta build, we gotta build. So let me really just set apart who should be going with what group because you know you might be feeling a little bit mixed right now not knowing which, which way you wanna go. And like I said, overall, everybody should design it first. That's what's ideal. But if you're a real human being, I'm a real human being then there might be real world situations. You might not be able to design first for whatever reason. You might need to just jump into it. Just start working on it and getting it out there because maybe you have a client that's in a rush. Who knows? But if you don't have any of these restrictions, you should really look into designing the app first. This really stimulates your mind. It gets you thinking about what's to come, you know, when you're coding. And one of the coolest things that I've actually noticed when I did design first and then started coding was that when I was doing the design, what I would be able to do is I would find those reusable elements and then I would make a note that, hey, I'm reusing these elements a lot. That means that I'm probably going to be reusing a class in my code a lot. So it really helps you think about a lot of different things that you're going to be experiencing in the future. And then, like I said, if you're on a team, then it should be a no brainer because honestly, communication it's just not going to work out if you guys can all look at the same thing and be like this is what we're working toward then you guys are going to be able to communicate a little bit more effectively and you guys kind of see where everybody's trying to go as opposed to just you know we're, we're just coding we're going and we're just running with the flow you know we're, we're going with it but yeah that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to give you my two cents on what i think you should be doing first probably should be doing the design first, but if you're a real world person and you have real world situations and you need to code first, well, guess what? You're going to have to code first. And that's all. That's all you can do. You got to do what you got to do. But that's going to be it for today, guys. You go out there, you do whatever you want, as long as you keep coding passionately. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.